What we're doing here now is we're recording live to record, direct to vinyl here at the SuperSense. There's one unique recording of this, this whole project. That way you play just now comes right onto record. At the time, when they said recording, we had to really get our stuff together and play it. And it's an unusual thing to do, to just come together with 25 strings and rhythm section and sax player and to perform something like this. David Bonnet, who sponsored this whole project, approached me and said he would like this recording uh, with an orchestra. Can you put that together and we'll do it with, with a couple of cover tunes, with a couple of own tunes of yours. And he also asked me, where would you like to do it? Would you like to do it in a professional studio or shall we do it at a SuperSense? And I said, no, we have to do it at SuperSense because that's the place to do an analog recording. music that's not played very often at the moment. You don't mix jazz combos with, with strings. So it was a big challenge, not only writing the arrangements. What do you do with, with tunes that have been played and covered so often? So I tried a different approach where I tried to do them very much like full music, bring all those elements in. And I think it was pretty difficult at, at, at some times and, and the, the, the players just did it phenomenally too. Everybody knows Cole Port, everybody knows Love for Sale. And Anything Goes was one of those tunes which I actually know from Indiana Jones. That's why I heard it the first time and John Williams did a fantastic job with that. So I said, okay, I have to do something really, really, really different because I like that tune, but it's, it's got a different approach. So I just let it start simply with the strings playing these rhythmic parts. And then it just goes into this uh, swing feel It is kind of a once-in-a-lifetime experience because when do you get the opportunity to have an orchestra, a 30-piece orchestra, record together a one-take onto a record that is actually a legacy for that day. So in that case, that was a very, very big, not only experience, but it was a very, very unique uh, approach 
to recording again because nowadays you're you're you sit in the studios you record and then you record it again and then you cut together what's what the good pieces and stuff like that here everything that's that you hear was played live without any editing i think that's that's the best thing that can be because that's authentic it's not some kind of a falsification that's what you hear on the record there is what was played and what you see then in the video. 